Hey everybody, welcome to another comic review. I'm David Comer. And I'm your host, Dave Herndon. And uh, we're going to discuss Dark Avengers, number one. Well, and it's not really number one. It's the first issue, first of, issue of the new, of the new era. era. It's actually, what, 512, I think? Uh, 175. Where did I get 512 so, from? <laughs> I don't know, but hey. Anyway, so that's the issue. It involves the Thunderbolts. We're happy to bring it to you. And uh, we're starting to discuss a lot more comics now. And Dave, what do you think of this one? Uh, it kind of involves, uh, I thought it was a little more of a Thunderbolt story than anything. Well, yeah, when I, when I was grabbing it for us, like, I totally saw a first issue of A New Era, and I'm like, this is going to be a good jumping off point. Mm -hmm. This might be something we're able to enjoy and uh, review consecutive issues for a while. Um, after I read it, I'm, not, I'm just not sure it hooked me. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it was a very good story. It, it was a solid story. But I think you still needed to understand more of what was going on in the past than you couldn't just pick it up and start right now. I agree. I agree. Um, really, it had a lot to do with the. Um, it's basically the recruitment of uh, of the Dark Avengers, and a kind of a um, Luke Cage, otherwise known as uh, Power Man, uh, ends up, uh, <clears throat> you know, recruiting uh, anti heroes for hire, if you will. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, inside joke. Um, yeah. So, formerly of Heroes for Hire. Yeah. Uh, so. I mean, basically, it's just a bunch of Avengers wannabes, like... Yeah, we've got Trickshot, who's basically like the evil uh, Hawkeye. You know, you've got Dark Spider-Man, he of the six arms. Uh, basically, Spider-Man in a Venom suit, six arms, and evil. Ragnarok, uh, the uh, the Thor, um, cyborg uh, replica of Thor. Um, Etoxy Doxy, which obviously is probably in the running for worst uh, villain names ever. Um... You know, so right after Batmite, maybe. Um, but uh, but anyways, uh, that's the Scarlet Witch, uh, basically, um, so to speak. Uh, it's um, so she's a genetic manipulator and lunatic is her is her uh, description. So um, anyways, I'd like to see that business card. You know, so eventually you've got these guys. They're bad guys. They're they're evil, and uh, a little bit of a scuffle ensues, and Luke Cage is recruiting them essentially, for the Thunderbolts. And did you find it believable? Well, I mean, it's a comic. It's very much in the Marvel Universe. And I, I suppose had you read the entire previous Dark Avengers line, it might be believable in that sense. But for this, I, I just didn't see a point. None of the characters have anything that really makes them a team at all. Like They're all not related to each other in any way, shape, or form. Like, it, it just, it didn't make sense to me why this group. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I, uh, you know, the art was good. Uh, the, you know, obviously the story had its, had its flaws. There was a big reveal at the end. Once they've gotten them to go on, you know, get on board. Um, and, uh, it's kind of interesting. Did you, did you, were you, were you slobber knocked at the last page? Uh, um, I was not. For the simple fact, for those of you, I'm going to spoil it here. Spoiler, spoiler. Stop it right now. You, uh... If, if, if you're offended by such things. You get to see Scar on the last page. Yes. As he's joining the team at the behest of, uh, what is that, Nick Fury. Or no, it's Power Man again, yeah, excuse me. Cage. Right. So, uh, he's the one that originally threw this whole group in prison. But I was not surprised because, spoiler, spoiler, he's on the cover. Yeah, you know, really, uh... <laughs> I was more surprised going throughout that he wasn't a part of the story. <laughs> you know, is that just poor planning? Or, uh, I mean... Part of the problem is, I mean, there's not a lot of members of the Dark Avengers to begin with. You've got those four guys, or whatever, without... without I don't know, make for a lame cover without <laughs> Scar. No, um, and, see, and that was another one of the reasons I picked it up, is I love this cover. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure who the cover artist was, but the cover is amazing, especially when you think that could be Thor. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, Thor and Scar and a six-armed Spider-Man, the Dark Avengers. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you start reading it, and none of them are really who they... Sure, sure. Uh, again, you know, some of the fault lies with us for not having a working institutional knowledge, but any good comic, hey, the same reason we had to read about 
Ad, the, we got to the word adamantium, you know, seared into our brains. It's because hey, the uh, the origins included in like every page. Yeah. Whereas here with, we with some, this, you get a one paragraph origin that's supposed to lead you into the last 174 issues worth of stuff. You're right, right, and uh, and that and that teaser paragraph that's supposed to give us backstory. Uh, once there were a team of supervillains operating out of a supermax prison facility known as the Raft, working on behalf of the United States government to work off their prison sentences. But after seeing the city of Chicago from a monstrous invasion, the team went on the run and became lost through the time stream. See, and that's Thunderbolts. Now when you get to the Dark Avengers, you just basically have, hey, Norman Osborn, put them together. It's this collection of uh, miscreants, and they're here to terrorize the universe. Hey, thanks, you know. Uh, and it was basically, again, not a whole great setup. Uh, going forward, I'm kind of interested to see what happens, uh, but I only say mildly. If I had to give this a grade, I might give it maybe a C minus, Dave. I'd say it's a solid C. I mean, the, the story is decent enough. The uh, the art was actually really good. I, I enjoyed the art. The, one, the, the, the right. story kind of pulls it back a little bit. I, I don't mean to, to raz on Jeff Parker, who is the artist, but... Well, first of all, I don't even know who Jeff Parker is. I'm, I'm not sure that I've read any of his other work. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it just needed to be storyboarded a little bit better before they actually went to press with the issue. Because as they're bragging on the front, like it's a good jumping on point, it's the first issue of a new arc. But they didn't explain anything to be able to go with the new arc. Right, and the only thing, I mean, it's the only hook, and ironically it's the spoiled spoiler, that uh, that scars on the cover, and he's also in the last frame. Ooh, reveal that. Um, I'm interested to see what kind of chaperone he'd be for this for this group of, of lunatics. Well, they are telling you the next issue is called Death, Death, Death. Yeah, and it probably took. Well, actually, it's Death, 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 Death. Um, and so it probably took them 4.5 seconds to come up with a name for it <laughs> instead of the anticipated three seconds. Anyway, I'm not sure if I'm gonna if we're gonna pick that one up or not. We're going to leave that one up to you. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll even leave it up to you, the reader. If you want to hear our thoughts on the next issue, make sure you let us know. Right. Uh, yeah. If you uh, if you enjoy uh, um, you know some comedy, maybe uh, you might want to go in that direction. But again, I, I agree. The storyboard, yeah, and some of the it, it was hard to follow at times. But um, like I said, it has some interesting components. I think uh, the idea is pretty cool. I just uh, I just again, you've got. That's why you don't see comics, though, of just the legion of, of supervillains, you know? Just basically, these are bad people that are always going to try to benefit themselves, and they're a bunch of kooks. Now, you can have one roughneck per team that gives you a, uh, what's he going to do kind of vibe, but you can't have a whole team of them, and I think it's hard to follow. And what's going to be the motivation for them to want to stay on the straight and narrow and work out their sentence, so to speak, by serving the Thunderbolts? Because, again, they're all just a bunch of uh, crazy asses. Well, supposedly Scar is going to be that. He right. He put you in prison once, he'll put you back if you if you stray. He key, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's kind of like, uh, you know, kind of like having Colonel Decker chaperone the A-team. Uh, you know, we'll see if it works. But, I mean, obviously, I, I don't really think there's that much of a, uh, I don't know, not a lot of tension there. But anyway, I'm Dave. And I'm Dave. And check us out next time when we bring you the Silk Spectre number one before Watchmen. It may or may not be better than this.